hello today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with this month skincare video and yes I forgot to put up a skincare video in March I don't know what happened maybe because I was a little bit stressed and tired as hell but now in April I am coming with the first with the first I'm coming with a skincare video and yeah we just go into this video. So I'm going to talk about mists today and I am only going to talk about mist that I spray mostly on my bare face not like I have some mists that I use mostly for makeup but also sometimes with a bare face but I'm going to talk about six mists that I 99% of the time only spray on my bare face and we can start with one that I don't use that often and it's from the body shop. I haven't used much of it at all and this is the mint mattifying and now you're maybe like why the hell would you use a mattifying when you have dry face skin? <laughs> you have dry face when you have dry skin and I use this like during the summer because when I get sweaty because it's so freaking warm outside, I use this one. So that's why I am used so much because I bought it last summer. So in the end of the summer, I think. So that's why. But I really like it. But I don't like it. It's, it's got such a minty scent. And uh, mint scent is not my favorite. But it's made of it is mattifying so if you are oily I think this can suit you and it's also hydrate it's also hydrate I used it one time I think I got too much highlighter and I was so freaking glowy I used mattifying spray it has only happened once okay then we can go into the hydrating mists and we can start with this one um, yeah, um, with the body shop, it has a good spritzer. A good spritzer is the main for <laughs> main thing for me. So the next one I want to talk about is Lumines Lede Arctic Spring Water Enriched Facial Mist, and this is for dry skin. This is hydrating mist. I love the spritzer on Lumines spritz mists. They are so so good. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. I don't like the smell of this series. It smells very foresty and like watery, mossy. I don't really know. I don't like the smell of it. But it is a good spray. This I usually spritz on when maybe I come home from work and I feel very dry and tired. Then I spray this and it is a really good spray. The spritzer is amazing. The nostril, I don't know if you're going to see it, but it's just like a cloud and I love it. But the smell, not my favorite. Okay, so my mom called. Um, so yeah, this is a good hydration mist. If you're okay with smells on stuff, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not a smell for me, but it's so... It's so fresh to have on your face and I really like to spritz it on when I come home from work. My other hydration spray is my absolute favorite. <laughs> it's the Hydration Milky Mist from Pixie. As you see, it's not so much left. I talked about this in my March favorites. Going to buy this again. This is hands down the best hydration mist I have ever tried. I have this after my toner and before everything else every morning. I love it. The only thing I don't like is the spritzer. I think it's my bottle that is a little bit broken because I have another mist from Pixie that is not the same at all. So this is so good. It hydrates so freaking good and it have worked with all other skincare products I have used. Love this. This is a holy grail in my skincare closet. And then I have two glow mist. We can start with the pixie one that looks a little bit 
yucky now because it's you have to shake it because it has two parts as you see I haven't used this as much because I have another glow spray that I really love I like this I don't know if they spray it's a mist I like this but it comes very much I can spritz a little bit it's not like it's a really big cloud coming out of this I think it's a good spray but it's not as good as the other glow mist I have and now I got it in my mouth I like it but it's like every time I use it it like get big wet spots on my face like drops I don't really like it but I think it is a good mist and my absolute favorite mist is from Lumiene. I have talked about this so many times before. It's their Nordic Sea Glow Refresh Hydrating Mist. This is... This and the Milky Mist from Pixi is the best two mists I have ever tried. I use this every morning after my skincare routine. Just to give a little bit of glow to the face. And it just... It feels so nice. And it smells so good. I don't have so much left of this. And because I'm on a low by year. When this is empty. I'm going to start use this every morning. But this is like the best mist I have ever tried. I cannot talk about this enough. It works so good on bare skin. It works so good on makeup. If you can get a hand of this. In Sweden it is very easy to buy it because Lumiene is like all over Sweden. But if you live in any other country and you see this, buy it because it is the best freaking glow mist ever. And the last mist I want to talk about is a very new mist for me. And I am very sensitive to the sun. And now it's starting to get spring here in Sweden. It's starting to... the sun is back. We don't live in a darkness anymore. The sun is back and I need to protect my skin. And right now I have some SPF in my foundation but I want more SPF because I'm so sensitive to the skin. And the Body Shop, they came out with a spray, with a sun spray for the face. And this got SPF 30, I usually use 50 on my whole body because I'm pale as a ghost and I am that sensitive and uh, now my foundation that I have now and the foundation I'm going to open after this I think they have SPF 20 so if I use them and then use this it should be enough so I bought this like two days ago and I used it and the glow I got from this was insane it smelled not so good and it tasted awful, but it was amazing. My first impression was it was amazing. It got a really good spritz. Is it even called spritz? And it laid so good over my face and it really gave me such an amazing glow. So yeah, <laughs> I am. I think I'm going to start because, okay, a little side story. I have started taking walks. Uh, I've talked about it in one of my get ready with me that I have trouble with my I have trouble with my sleep and the one thing that really helps me if I take walks so I take walks like five, five or six days a week and now the sun is coming out and I need something to have on my face because the sun. So I'm going to start to use this because I walk when I come home from work so I just change my clothes, I can spray this and then go out. So this was like a life savior for me. I have just tried it like two times but this is a super big favorite. So if you're pale like me, you need your sunscreen but everybody needs sunscreen. Try this. It looks amazing. I think I will talk about this more when it comes more to the summer. So yeah. Now I'm going to stop talk and that was the skin, what, what even is this? So that was my skincare video for April. I'm so sorry it didn't came any in March, but I hope you liked this one. And if you have some 
missed that you really really love that you think I should try please let me know because I love mist as you may see and I don't like super smelly mist so have that in mind I know a lot of people like the pixie rose tonic and I think that that smells like roses as well and I can't stand the rose smell just so you know so you don't need it to give that as a tip because I think I can't live with that so if you have any other spray please let me know so yeah that was all for this skincare video of April I hope you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye